Uh, hello. Here we have a note on the use of ENC charts, uh, specifically uh, uh, some notes on uh, chart scales, over zooming, and the accuracy of charts, and uh, how that enters into some practical matters. So here we have a, uh, a chart of um, up, up, up near the San Juans, and then we can right-click this chart and say chart information, and it's this area. It's a 1 to 25,000 chart. Then we can click it and actually view it. At what, this is the compilation scale of the chart. You see here 1 to 25,000. This is where it's, this is the view it's intended to be used at, this, this level of scale here. But then we can zoom in and look at what we might do in our actual boats. Uh, we may want to maybe, for example, go through this pass here. And then we're looking at, um, oh, okay. So you see, when I'm in here, I'm getting an alert that I have over-zoomed. I have over-zoomed. And then furthermore, it tells me when I put my mouse on here, I've over-zoomed by a factor of 8.9. 8.9, and what that means is this chart was a native, uh, native uh, one to 25,000, and so if I just take 25,000 and divide it by here's the scale I'm looking at it 2797 divided by 2797 equals 8.9. So that means I have taken this regular scale and I've zoomed in 8 8.9 times higher than I'm supposed to be looking at it. And so here is the here is the area. So now let's look at some of the consequences of that because charts have limits. For example, um, um, and we get warnings here. If I, for example, I'm looking at one mode, I could switch my display mode to all. And you see these flags, normally you don't show this because it's just in the way. But this four stars in here means that this is zone of confidence B. Zone of confidence B. And we could learn that if we just right click this and ask for, well, just any element here. You see, Cat quality of data, zone of confidence B. Zone of confidence B. Now, what that means, we have to pursue things a little bit more. We could look into our book. Let's see what we have here in our book. Um, or um, maybe in the glossary. Let's just see what we have in our glossary. Oh, yeah. Here's the Starpath glossary under ENC data quality. And you see here are these symbols defined. And here is four stars, and here means uncharted features, dangerous to navigate, uh, dangerous to navigation are not expected, but may exist. Medium accuracy survey. And then, and then it tells us to look at our book here if you want to see more details. And let me see if I don't have a picture of our book to show you. Yes, here. Uh, this is the book, Electronic Chart Navigation. It's about ENC charts. Then we come back to here. And if I zoom in on this, um, let me see how I do this. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, zone of accuracy B is a plus or minus. It says uncharted features hazardous to service navigation are not expected, same as we read on the chart, but may exist. And it tells us a position accuracy of 164 feet. And that's not a random number. If I take 164 divided by 3.28, the conversion, you see that's 50 meters. So E and C are meters based. And so, so the uncertainty in this chart uncertainty in this chart data, we have to believe it's plus or minus 50 meters. Okay, let me get rid of that picture. Now we can start doing some tricks with this nice program, QTVLM. So what I've made here is what they call, a, what what's called in the program a pathway, Young Island Tideline. And I've just hidden it. Now I turn it on. So what I did was I just went around. it. It's like making a route that you're going to sail, except I'm not going to sail this. I just made this artificial route that went all the way around here, right, like that. So I've got it pictured. 
So then what I can do in this route then, and I'm saying this in detail, so if you, you can go and experiment with this yourself, edit the pathway, then I can export this as a GPX file. And I've done that. Around, uh, Young Island Tide Line is right there. So I've exported it as a GPX file. Cancel. All right. Now, the next trick we can do is this program allows us to do an automatic display on Google Earth. I just hold down the uh, Option, Command, and G key, and I'm going to switch to Google Earth, and it's going to show the exact same scale I was. In fact, I want to go in a little closer. Right Here's that island. Now, here's the interesting thing, and you can do this with various things. You see, I can see through the water a little bit here and see where these rocks are. So now what I'm going to do is I go into my uh, program here. Uh, where did I put that? Lesson 6. Uh, Young Island Tideline. Yeah, okay. And then I can just drag this in and drop it on here and say, okay. And now you see what it does is it's laid those lines on the chart. And if I zoom in, I said, look at this. So that ENC was actually really good here. It went right around and showed you these. It went around all of these. But, and it did well here. But look, it's missing this area here, right? It's miss. Well, is it missing it? Now, let's keep in mind. Now we have to go back. Let me draw a line. Um, is this all I need? Let's see. Here and here. Oh, okay. So there's 50, there's 50 meters right there. This is a radius 50 meters. So you see, this chart is not at all wrong within its declared accuracy, within its declared accuracy right there. So that's basically the story that I wanted to tell. Let's go back and see what that looks like on the chart. Uh, and now I thought I made a ring here. Oh, okay. So let me hide this. Uh, let me go back to Pathways, Edit a Pathway, Young Island Tide Line. Hide that for now. Okay. And now here is here. I made. I just made a mark. I just made a mark. Uh, put a waypoint, a mark on here, and I put a ring. This ring, if I right-click and edit, you see I put this ring at 0.027 nautical miles. That's 50 meters. 50 divided by 1852. There's 1852 meters per mile. So 50 divided by 1852 is 0.270, right? So that's that mark. And so you see, with a zone of confidence of B, you're dealing with plus or minus 50 meters. So you have to be careful when you start looking at areas like this that you might transit. Uh, chances are, you know, like it said, chances are it's going to be right, but they can't promise it. And we have a classic example here. This is remarkably right all the way around, except up here there's about 80 feet not even 50 meters, about 80 feet wrong right in this area right here. Okay, that's the message. Uh, tremendous information in these ENCs, and that's what our new course on ENCs is, is uh, trying to convey.